Hot 96 News this hour. The directive given by the president is that they give us the cost, the full cost of the program. Then we will put that in uh, the portal. We have been able to fund only 24% of those ones because of limiting extra support and also loan recoveries. The worst thing any country could do now is to use this news as a reason to let down its guard. The Hot 96 News now with Teddy Otieno. Good afternoon and welcome to the broadcast. Two people have been rescued in the ongoing operation at Shakahola Forest in Kilifi. Interior Cabinet Secretary Kithure Kendiki, who is overseeing the exercise, said a total of 65 people have been rescued so far. He added that 25 others have been arrested and will be charged with various offences. Describing the massacre as a highly organised crime, Kendiki expressed concern, saying that more graves have been identified. The second phase of exhumation comes as the number of bodies found at the forest stands at 112. Meanwhile, collection of DNA samples from family members to ease. The identification process is underway at Malindi Hospital. Pastor Ezekiel Odero now wants the High Court to lift orders freezing his accounts. In the application before Mombasa Court, the pastor also seeks temporary orders preventing the investigators from carrying out the orders issued in Milimani. He added that the DCI, the Attorney General and the DPP were all aware of the subject matter of the petition which included the question of freezing his bank accounts. He further argues that when filing the replying affidavit, the first, third and seventh respondents failed to disclose that they had petitioned the magistrate's court to decide a critical issue in the petition. Clerics have opposed the formation of a task force to review legal and regulatory frameworks governing religious organizations in the country. The members of the clergy and churches Union of Kenya maintain that the move was ill-advised. Wakati tunakuwa na rogue doctors, rogue lawyers, and I can go on and on and on. Kwa nini hawatoi regulations mgeni? Kila wakati kitokea ni kanisa ndiyo wanasema wanataa kutoa regulations mgeni. Tunaona kama tuko na madui huko inje, ambao wamepato na fasi ya kupiga kanisa. Instead of having a task force, we only need to work with the leadership of the umbrella bodies to discuss with the government officers on the best ways on bringing transparency and accountability to the local church and ministers. So we do not want to see one particular individual being picked and being extrapolated to mean the dire Pentecostal body. No. Kenya will work closely with Israel on areas of mutual interest including trade, security, agriculture and technology. Speaking in Jerusalem, President William Bruto said that Israel's modern farming technology will sustainably drive the transforma- transformation agenda. While the president spoke when he met Israel President Isaac Hazuk at his residence in Jerusalem, with the two agreeing to expand the Kenya-Israel cooperation. President Ruto is later on expected to meet Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. First, let me appreciate the warm welcome extended to us uh, by your government and the people of uh, Israel. We now have 22 MOUs, the largest memorandum of understanding with any country that has expanded our relations, deepened our uh, ties, and from education to agriculture to defense and many other areas. We have many people trained in Israel in our agricultural sector. We have huge cooperation in our defense and intelligence. One person has died following an early morning shooting incident in Kisumu's Joakali area where some traffic police officers engaged Matatu operators in running battles. Three others are nursing gunshot injuries, two of them at the county's hospital and one at the Jaramogyo Gingo Dinga Teaching and Referral Hospital. Police bosses in Kisumu have, however, remained mum over the incident.
Queues are piling up at the main bus stop in Alderet. Well, this comes as learners report a school after the early day break. A scarcity of public service vehicles heading to Nairobi has been witnessed even as parents and guardians expressed concern. Well, more than 600 people were killed last month in violence in the capital of Haiti, which is in the grip of a political economic crisis. The United Nations said this follows the killing of at least 846 people in the first three months of this year, in addition to 393 injured and 395 kidnapped during the same period. The Caribbean nation has been gripped by a political and economic crisis since the July 2021 assassination of President Jovenel Moise, with the gangs now controlling most of the capital, Port-au-Prince. UN officials have for months asked the Security Council to send a specialized non-UN international armed force to help police restore order in Haiti. That brings us to exactly seven minutes past one. These and more stories at two. I'm Teddy Utieno. Good afternoon.